Moussa Sissoko has been excellent this campaign and could have scored one of the biggest goals of the Premier League season on Sunday. The Frenchman was sent through on goal by Sun Ho Min as Tottenham had a two-on-one situation with Virgil van Dijk sandwich between. Sissoko couldn't pass the ball to Sun and had to go on his own. However, this didn't end well as he lashed his effort high above the bar. This was the chance to kill off the game as Liverpool were at sixes and sevens. We were in the ascendancy and it was our misfortune that the chance came to Sissoko, who hasn't scored this season. Liverpool came right back and with fortune on their side scored the winner, an own goal from Toby Alderweireld. This was our fourth loss in five Premier League games but Sissoko had the right message to share. We will fight till the end raised fist dark skin tone. Currently, one point separates four teams but that could change should Arsenal win their fixture against Newcastle on Monday. Tottenham have some tough games coming up, such as the trip to Manchester City in the league in the quarter-final affair against the same opponents in the Champions League. A win would have been great for our confidence but picking on Sissoko isn't expected given his season so far. The Frenchman has been our most improved player this time around, and many Tottenham fans came out in support of the 29-year-old. Unlucky, Musa. Don't be too hard on yourself, you've been great this season. Focus on Wednesday now. Noz Ahmed, Adnaz Ahmed, April 1, 2019 Chin up, Musa, bad end to a good match yesterday but we can change the course on Wednesday in the new stadium. Keep on fighting. Oncoming fist medium light skin tone, Spurs Finland, at Spurs Finland, April 1, 2019 You have been the only consistent performer this season apart from Kane. Don't be too hard on yourself. We all love you and we know you will help us win the game against Palace. The new stadium awaits you. Kois, Alec Badri, at Alec. TTID, April 1, 2019 Chin up fella. You've been vital this season and we all know it. Finishing is just not your forte. Rory at Rory for Spurs, April 1, 2019 Read more Tottenham news, click here. Latest Spurs news Real Madrid manager Zinedine Zidane has refused to share assurances about Gareth Bale's future at the club. Frenchman left the side at the start of the season but sensationally returned a couple of weeks ago. Madrid had gone through two managers during that time, and Zidane was brought back to steady the ship. Bale hasn't always had a great time in Madrid and has been linked with a return to the Premier League, HT Sun. Tottenham, along with Manchester United and Chelsea are all keen on bringing the attacker back, according to the Sun. Zidane claimed that no decision had been taken on Bale's future, however, the 29-year-old would be part of the final 10 games of the season. The manager claimed Bale was an important member of the team and spoke about his magic in the Champions League, but did not confirm he would be staying in Madrid. HT son, we know what he has done here, even in Champions League finals. Nobody can take away what he has done. We know he can bring a lot to the team, and we will count on him. We are going to play these 10 games, the last 10 of the season, and then we will see. That does not mean that, afterwards, there will be changes. Gareth Bale, left Real struggling for form this season. This season has been a disaster for Real as they should finish the campaign without any silverware. They were knocked out of the Copa del Rey and Champions League recently, and sit 12 points behind arch-rivals Barcelona in the race for the La Liga crown. The 29-year-old has still managed to do a decent job at the club with 11 goals and 4 assists in all competitions. Read more Tottenham Hotspur transfer news, click here, Spurs transfer news The Welsh attacker is just behind Karim Benzema in the scoring charts for real this season. Tottenham captain Hugo Lloris had an evening to forget at Anfield. The Frenchman could only parry a Mohamed Salah header straight into Toby Alderweireld in the final minutes of the game. The ball trickled into the net to give Liverpool an undeserved win. Tottenham were the better side, especially in the second half, and should have scored more than the one goal at Anfield. 
Loris wanted to move on from the air and was looking forward to the next game, which is our home tie against Crystal Palace. HT Sky Sports, when you are a goalkeeper, you know the responsibility. It's like this. Of course, you question yourself. The good thing is that you know there is another game in three days, so you need to switch off about today and prepare the next game. I think it's the best way to forget. The captain added that he tried to catch the ball twice, and unfortunately it hit Toby. The keeper also highlighted that luck was on the side of the hosts, and they somehow didn't concede a second goal despite our domination. Fans still backing Loris the Tottenham captain hasn't had a great season after lifting the World Cup with France in the summer. Loris had his run-in with the law regarding drink driving, and has made a few errors in the campaign. The former Lyon keeper is still an excellent shot stopper and has had some fantastic games for us this season. Although he was at fault for the second goal we conceded, some fans didn't pin all the blame on the captain and claimed he was a quality keeper. Made up for them with quality performances, making match-defining saves in key moments. Loris does this for Spurs too, he's one of the best shot stoppers we have in the BPL. Criticism definitely harsh, shame to undervalue him as he's great keeper. Win as a team, lose as a team. Daniel Levy, at Lovett 32, April 1, 2019 Not feeling the Loris hate. As usual, scapegoats are looked for. Had either Ericsson, Ali or Sissoka scored their chance, Bickle fans would have had nothing to moan about. It's a team game FFS. Let's support them all. Radical, I know. Be bitterly disappointed but don't be a twat. Colin Wright, at Colin Wright 1959, March 31, 2019 To be honest I'm not convinced it was half as easy a catch as people are suggesting. Was going away from and Salah wasn't too far away. Maybe he could have caught it but it's not like he fumbled it. Seems like he and Toby were both quite unlucky to me. Could be wrong though, Jim Smith, at Jim Smith Tennis, March 31, 2019 Will Spurs supporters stop blaming, Lori Seezy to blame him saved us against Dortmund some fantastic saves. Eric and Trippier are two others who can be shamed, Tim K.A.H., at New Barnied, March 31, 2019 Keepers get better with a GMO, keep him but sign someone who's young and can learn so when Lori does move on we have a great trained keeper ready. Kezi, at Honk My Honda, March 31, 2019 Read more Tottenham news, click here. Latest Spurs news Former Chelsea and Argentine midfielder Juan Sebastian Verón believes Tottenham can attract the best players thanks to their state-of-the-art new stadium. The Argentine legend got a close look at the ground when Spurs legends played the Inter Forever side on Saturday and was impressed by our new home. The midfielder was speaking about his fellow countryman, Mauricio Pochettino, at the club and claimed that the Spurs manager now has good infrastructure, which would be positive for the players in the coming years, HT Mirror, now I think he has a good infrastructure, so the position of the club for the players is good. You have good atmosphere, good infrastructure so now I think for the next years it's positive for the players. Now they've finished the stadium and the training ground, I think it's to build a good team to win something in the future. Former legend also impressed by stadium Robbie Keane was part of the Spurs legends team that played against the Italian side at the weekend. The former Spurs striker scored a goal in the game and praised the work done by Daniel Levy to get the project completed. The former striker claimed that the team now has everything, from the players, the management to the stadium and are on the up. Tottenham's first home game at the new stadium is on the 3rd of April against Crystal Palace. Spurs have already conducted two test events at the ground, and it would be fantastic to start off this new chapter with a win. Read more Tottenham news, click here. Latest Spurs news Our last game didn't go as planned with an unfortunate 2-2-1 loss to Liverpool. Spurs were the better team in the tie, but a last-minute mistake from Huglory saw Toby Alder Verald score into his own net. The Mirror reports that Tottenham have been tracking Inter defender Milan Skriniar but the Slovakian is set to sign a new deal with the Serie A Giants. 
The report claims that Inter will double the defender's basic weekly wage to £60,000 a week and other bonuses are included in the deal. Skriniar has been one of the most consistent defenders in the Serie A, and the report claims that Inter want to keep their star away from the clutches of the Premier League. Milan, Skriniar Liverpool, Manchester City, Manchester United and Chelsea are also tracking the 24-year-old defender, who will sign the new deal once an issue with his agent is solved, H.T. Mirror. Intervalue their star highly The report adds that Skriniar's head was turned with the interest from the Premier League and several scouts watched him during the recent international break. Intervalue their prized asset at £80 million and the new contract should keep him at the San Siro until 2024, H.T. Mirror. Tottenham have their own problems with their centre-backs. Toby Alder, Verald and Jan Vertonghen will have just one year left on their deals after this season. There is another issue with Alder Verald as a £25 million release clause, HT Guardian, comes into effect in the summer. Read more Tottenham Hotspur transfer news, click here, Spurs transfer news Tottenham have a couple of quality young defenders in Dovinson Sanchez and the ever-improving Juan Foyth but we could do with more experience at the back should one of the Belgian duo leave.